Come on, Lila. We'll pull the old crisscross switch and toss and cut them off at the hot tub. Peaches, come here. Bonita, please. We absolutely need you ready for Animal Club. First impressions matter. Peaches, please, just... Splash us with all of that water. Thanks. Ugh, so not cool. Polly? Lila? Over here, Shawnee. Why aren't you big yet? We have to hurry. Shawnee, I'm having a soggy moment here. Deep breaths, Lila. Deep breaths. We're already three minutes, 26 seconds behind schedule. If we don't hurry up, we're not going to get a table for club sign-up day. Don't worry. We'll be ready in two shakes. <laughs> call this prime real estate, but c'est la vie. I'm into it, especially your monkey balloon animal. It's a giraffe. Doesn't matter, monkey or giraffe, our animal club is gonna bring smiles, snuggles, and squeezes to the kids of Littleton Magnet. It is proven that spending time with animals increases quality of life. Exactly. Our pets will be increasing life quality left and right. Right, Peaches? <laughs> That's a yes, I know her barks. I want you to know I'm still disappointed in your earlier behavior. But we need your cuteness more than ever. <laughs> hey, where's Captain Collywobbles? Oh, oh my gosh, she's Associating with the competition. <laughs> Mr. Collywobbles! Get back here! <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, okay. Get the extra paper and pens ready. It's about to get wild up in here. Okay, so a little less wild than I would have predicted, but let's stay positive. Not one single signature. <gasps> Wait a second, I smell our first member. Hi there, welcome. Hey, nice monkey. This is the Blue Club, right? Uh, no, they're over there. <laughs> Okay, maybe our animals are the problem. They're just ordinary household pets. I suppose they're kind of boring. <laughs> What's wrong with our pets? They're safe, predictable, and have all their shots. Just like me. They're just too normal. <laughs> we need to go bigger, wilder, like exotic animals. That way everyone will sign up. Who's with me? <laughs> To the forest! I don't know, Polly. Wild animals aren't really meant for school environments. It'll be fine, Shawnee. With the locket, I'm practically an animal whisperer. Uh, hi. Did you want to sign up for Paranormal Club? No. But I have a great club for you, Nicholas. It's called Look After Our Pets While We Go On a Brief But Very Important Mission Club. Here you go. Oh, uh, well... Thanks, Nick. Seriously? B but I'm allergic! Oh, boy. <laughs> no! Patrice! For the last time, I don't want another credit card. Goodbye! No, no, Gigi, it's me! It's Gwen! Oh. I thought I told you not to call during my daily dusting hours unless it was about Polly. It is about Polly. She's starting an animal club here at school. Animal club, you say? Yeah, that's exactly what I just said. I know, it's a thing people say. People say you say? Forget it! And I suggest you get a new phone. It sounds like you're stuck in a locker. But I... I am...
have a perfect plan to get that locket. So we grab some animals and get back to civilization. Maybe just one or two small animals. <gasps> like that squirrel! Let's put this natural animal magnetism to work. Aw, you're a cutie, aren't ya? Wanna come to school with us? Technically, you work better with animals when you're pocket-sized. Right. Tiny power! <laughs> a flying squirrel? Cute and aerodynamically able. She would be a showstopper. Agreed. <laughs> Ugh. I'm okay. Now that could be a showstopper. Agreed. Ooh. An Alsa's Americanus, commonly called Moose. The perfect addition to our club. We need something big, something attention getting, something that screams, We're cool. Join our club. Is that what it's screaming? I was pretty sure I heard Unpredictable Wild Beast. Hello, big guy. Go big lunch bag! <laughs> Come on, Moosey Moose. Want a little baby carrot? That a boy? Wow! He loves them! Uh, everyone loves baby carrots, Shawnee. That's basically science. Look, 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 look! Oh, my polka dot! Loving this one. Ooh, such a cute little badger. Uh, you sure it's a badger? Duh, I have an eye for animals. Stripes are so in right now. <gasps> Such a little fashionista. Yep. Hey, so are all of you awesome animals interested in being part of our special club? I'll take that as a yes. Coast is clear. Go big! Come on, let's go pick up the pace. Oh, hold on, it's itchy in here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the spot. Yeah, yeah. Gigi, come on! I won't make it to the sideburns and mustache club if we don't hurry up and get the locket. Hey, what's the big... Did you see that baby fox? I can't wait to bond with it. <laughs> Not bad. But I notice you don't have a single Yeti, Chupacabra, or even one measly Sasquatch. Some animal club. Hey, cool it, Buster. These animals rule the roost. <laughs> How'd you get all these animals in here anyway? That's our little secret. Lila! What she means to say is, we don't have any secrets, little or otherwise. Yeah, animals just like us. We'll get a Yeti in here, and I join. A bit of paranormal goes a long way. <laughs> so this is going well. Look how happy the animals make everyone. We're spreading the joy. Spreading the joy for reals. Ooh, Shans, get a pic of me in front of the huge line. <laughs> hey, not cool, banana breath. Uh, did I might? I'm Sheila Crikeyson, and this is my gorilla, uh, Gogo. I was expecting new members might have dogs, cats, even a guinea pig or two, but a gorilla? Everyone wants to join Animal Club. Yeah! <laughs> 
After we finish the petting zoo, we'll have to feed the animals and get them fresh water. <sighs> Who knew running the busiest club in school would be so much work? Think we can get some interns? It's worth it to see everyone so happy. <laughs> oh, how I loathe these unruly children. <laughs> and bananas. <laughs> Enough of this! Who wants to meet Fernando, the flying squirrel? Okay, calm down, everyone, calm down. Just form a line and you can all meet Fernando. Eat up! All gorillas love bananas. This is the best club ever. Here, you can hold him. This is the single greatest day of my life. Thank you, Polly Pocket. <laughs> nice. Polly, we need more sign-up sheets. Yep. Coming. <laughs> gorillas sure are friendly. Come on, everyone, jump on. Get away from me, you little rock rats! World's first talking gorilla! Awesome! Stay right there while I grab my camera! Look you gave me earlier about the badger. That was because the badger is a uh, skunk. Right. <laughs> Fernando! Fernando! Get down here! This is so unlike him. Come back here, you antler beast! Maybe bringing a bunch of wild animals into the school wasn't such a good idea after all. <sighs> okay, maybe you're right. We didn't think this through. <laughs> Griselle Grande? And you're dressed as a gorilla? Infiltrating our club in disguise to get close to Polly's locket? Pretty solid plan, actually. Thank you! Now, hand over the locket. Now! Did she just say now twice? Maybe she did, for emphasis. The point is, hand over the locket. I'm gonna go with no. Tiny power! <laughs> Get it! The moose is loose and the chase is on. Come on, Gwenny. It's a good old fashioned wild moose chase. Girls, you follow the locket, I'll catch up. I usually have a strict no moose chasing policy. Maybe we should try a moose call. <laughs> What did you just say to it? I think I said hello. Or maybe I insulted its mother. Hey, girls! Polly! Stick with him. I'll cut him off. Come to Polly. <sighs> or run away from Polly. Come on, this way! This whole thing was a mistake. Let's go, Gwen. Chop, chop. I've been brushing up on my tracking skills to help me get that locket. In case my GPS fails, phone fails, you are sick, and I don't accidentally bump into Polly around town. <laughs> now I can track that moose in my sleep. But you're not sleeping, Gigi. We have to get that locket before Griselle does. We need help tracking the moose. Peaches, has anyone seen our pets? Bonita! 
Peaches! Captain Collywobbles, where are you? Uh, who am I kidding? Everyone knows that cats never come when they're called. Peaches! Come here, girl! Good girl. Now, we really, really need your help. Is that okay? <laughs> Our chariot awaits. Hop on! To the forest! I need to get this suit off. Oh, what kind of costume is this, Gwen? The zipper stuck! Ugh. Let me try. I'm great with zippers. <laughs> Yep, it's stuck all right. But don't worry, you still look totally cool. Oh, there's nothing cool about this. It's a furnace in here. <gasps> look, Gigi, moose prints. They're on the right track. <laughs> ah, we're on the wrong track. Well, this is hopeless. There's no moose, mooses, or even mice around. And it's gonna get dark soon. We have to find it. Spread out, girls. <gasps> Look! According to my tracks database, this is the hoofprint of an adult moose. Now to track the tracks. Peaches, your super sniffing nose and natural hunter instincts fit this job description. Follow that scent. <laughs> That water's more raging than the river from Planet of the Raging Water 6! And this outfit can't get wet! It's dry clean only! There he is! Peaches, after the moose! thing ever, but sure. Hey, where's Peaches? <laughs> Peaches, you're okay. <sighs> Using leaves as towels, one star. <gasps> <gasps> She's got something. Come on. Okay, no loud noises. Super quiet. Hang tight, big guy. Atta boy. Not so fast, Pocket. You play rid of me, long. Skunk, but I'm leaning heavily toward paranormal activity. 
It could be the work of a shape-shifting stink bug signaling to teachers that students are working too hard and need a week off. When the world gets weird, Nicholas Wells will be there. Tiny power! Peaches, you guys stay here. We'll be right back. It stinks worse than Paxton's diaper dispenser in here. First of all, ew. Second of all, barf. Time to get our hands dirty. Let's clean up this mess. Oh, I was so worried you'd say that. On behalf of all of us, thanks for making today super fun. Leaving your natural habitat is tough, and gorillas in schools are weird. But it really meant a lot. Keep in touch! Well, that was the wildest day I've had. This week. And you guys, thanks for being you and saving the day. Sorry we took you for granted, totally. A bigger club doesn't mean a better club. You were all we really needed. <gasps> Gwen, I've been stuck in the costume for 72 hours. Get this yeah. thing off of me! I'm trying! <laughs> you can thank me later, Gigi! School supplies, recital outfit, Yarn, microphone stand. Aw, the old pocket size your supplies trick. Convenient and easy on the back. But even pocket sized, I'm running out of room. Between what I need for schoolwork, knitting club, classroom clean crew, modeling for Lila, and helping Shawnee with her science lab, not to mention this afternoon's talent show, I need to save Pierce's magic act, then choir performance. <sighs> You've got a lot on your plate, and you're still helping others. That's my locket bearer, girl. Thanks, Grandma. I might be the youngest pocket to have the locket, but I want to be the one to make the biggest difference ever. Without us. Girls! Polly? Where are you? And why do you sound so old? Ahem. Oh, oh. Hi, Polly's grandma. grandma. Help Polly. She's stuck in that big, uh, little pile. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thanks. You never know how much you have till you're buried under it all. Go big! <laughs> Same time next week, Grandma? <laughs> Can't wait. And remember, Keep your eyes peeled for ways to help, and you'll find being tiny can make the biggest difference. Bye, Polly Pie. You can't actually take all this stuff, but I need it all. Check my to-do list. Oh, that's my to-do alarm. Gotta run. <sighs> Helping me, Polly. Love the jungle couture.
That was great, Polly. Your dance was so funny. It almost looked like you really didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went with a method approach. <sighs> Looks like someone needs to call it a night. But it's not even dark yet. Uh-oh, to-do alert. See, I need to study. You can study over the weekend. But my weekend's already mega super booked. Can't I just go to Peanut's Pit Stop with Shawnee and Lila and study with them a little? Please? Is the game almost over? We really need to study. One dozen? Okay, bye. One dozen? Yeah, okay, bye. Hey, Peanut, is everything okay? No. Last week, I created this recipe, the world's best cupcakes. Taste! Mmm. Mmm. Peanut, this is amazing. What's, What's amazing? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. So good. I know. Uh. But, Peanut, isn't this good news? Good! These cupcakes are so good, orders are through the roof. I can barely keep up. Your brother's been a big help on deliveries, but still, I haven't slept for days. Oh, again with the orders. Excuse me. Oh, just give it to me straight. How many dozen for tonight? Aw, oh, poor Peanut. Sleep signs would indicate he's entered the no snooze brain lose territory. Mm. Yeah, total bummer. Think we can get him to make us an extra dozen? Lila, Peanut doesn't need more orders. He needs our help. There. Now helping Peanut is officially on the to-do list. Another chance for me to make a difference. Peanut, we're going to... One dozen. Yep, okay, bye. According to the Journal of Getting Your Z's, a person Peanut's age will need at least six more hours shut-eye before he can really function. <sighs> Why is your phone still beeping? You've already done a million things today. Actually, helping Peanut put me behind on studying and knitting a blanket for Pax and helping my dad fix the sink. But it's okay, I'll get to it all. Now, ready, Lila? Ready. <laughs> And since we made them all pocket-sized to bake and frost all at once, all we have to do is... Go big! Cupcake! Go big! Cupcake! Ha! We did it! Uh... Shawnee? Uh, two dozen. Lila? Perfect. Will you power nap? I'll get my studying done. Peanut, I'm here for the evening delivery run. <gasps> Pierce, Lila, Shawnee, wake up. <sighs> Thanks. I was having a nightmare that I was wearing wool socks with flip-flops. <sighs> Listen, we have to hide. Pierce is coming. Peanut. <clears throat> Peanut? <clears throat> oh, these must be the deliveries. And the delivery list. Thanks, Peanut. Maybe tonight I'll get enough tips to buy my Mega Burn concert tickets. See ya, Peanut! Uh, okay, he's got the cupcakes. Now can we go home and catch our Z's? I need my beauty sleep. Yep, go big! Maybe I'm still dreaming, but I don't feel very big. <gasps> my locket is gone! How can my locket be gone? I know I'm behind. I have to figure this out first. There's only one logical answer. You were sleeping on a cupcake, right? Well, the locket must have gotten stuck in the frosting. We have to catch Pierce and find my locket. Now! No! I'm on it. We'll follow him in the quadcopter. Go big, quadcopter! Um, Polly. Oh, right. 
rocket, no quadcopter. Now what? Um, hi, Mr. Huffman. I've got your cupcakes. Oh! oh, no. What? Do you see the locket? No, it's Mr. Huffman's fashion faux pas. What's with all the jean jackets? All these are fine. Uh, I think Peanut will accept payment and denim jackets. Um, I don't think so. Why? I thought I ordered a gross denim jacket, but I actually got a gross of denim jackets. That's 144 jackets. But why would anyone order a gross denim jacket? I thought gross was one of those hip things the kids say, like rad or wicked or gnarlesome. Gnarlesome? <laughs> well, what am I gonna do with all these jackets? Uh, got me. Later, Mr. Huffman. <laughs> okay, Mr. Huffman needs help. Adding it to the to-do list. Now, after that scooter! Here's your cupcakes, Mr. Quidnunk. About time. Back in my day, when you ordered for delivery, you got it in 30 minutes or less. Well, at least they look appetizing. But they don't look locketizing. Another bust on the locket trail. Thanks, Mr. Q. <sighs> well, that's a lot of cupcakes for just me, all by myself. And this big house. Hmm. I wonder why Mr. Quidnunk sounds sad. I'm gonna find out. Adding it to the list. Your list can't fit anything else. Of course it can. There's always time to do more. Now let's find that locket. Oh, these look wonderful. <laughs> by the way, I don't suppose you know of any dog sitters, do you? Nope. See ya. Did you guys see that? Miss Senga was begging for help, and Pierce didn't even notice. Luckily, I did. She's on the list. I'll just have to shift around mowing the lawn and alphabetizing Dad's cookbooks. No planning, locketing. Pierce has three more delivery boxes. It has to be in one of them. Just not this one. <sighs> just in time for my line dance rehearsal. I might not have matching recital costumes for my dance crew, but at least I have snacks. <gasps> Mismatch costumes at a dance recital? <gasps> That's a travesty. Adding her to the help list. Aw, oh, Miss Mance. She's moving so slow. Bet she hurt her back. It comes from bad shoes. Oh, yep, last season's. New shoes for Miss Mance. I know, I know, I'm behind. Got your cupcakes, Miss Mance. Oh, they're the only thing that makes me feel better when my back's out. <laughs> Seriously? No tip? <sighs> she didn't let him open the box. How do we know if the locket's on one of her cupcakes? We'll have to look to find out. Can you do us a solid? Whoa, 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 whoa. We can't go into the building. Grizel lives here. We don't have a choice if we're ever gonna get the locket back. Get ready to make a distraction. Hello? Is someone there? Yes! here. So it has to be in Pierce's last box. Shawnee, Lila, now we know exactly where to find the locket. Yoink! You mean I know exactly where to find the locket. <laughs> and here I thought all I'd get on this trip to the lobby was my mail. Darn teenagers knocking on my door. Uh, Shawnee, Lila, run! You have to get the locket! I'm the only one getting the locket. And if you Rugrats don't have it, you're going to tell me exactly where to find it. Ow! 
Oh, for Pete's sake, stop that infernal beeping. Now tell me where the locket is. If you want to stop the beeping, let us go so I can get to my list. We'll never tell you anything about the locket. Yeah, we couldn't tell you if we wanted to. We don't even know where Pierce is making his last cupcake delivery. Oops. Hmm. Pierce is the Peanuts Pit Stop delivery boy, isn't he? Interesting. For once, you girls were actually helpful. Ah! Hey! Stop! Oh, boy. What do we do? Shh! Grizel's planning something. Hello, Peanut. Darling. Yes, I'm the customer who called in the final order today, and I'm hoping you can do me a favor and change the address for my delivery. No! Don't listen to her, Peanut! Yes! The Golden Years Condos on 524 Abingdale Lane. Please send it right up to the penthouse. Bye now! Okay. It's all over now, Polly Pocket. Your brother will be here any minute. He'll deliver the locket and he'll join you as part of my miniature collection. <laughs> She's going to steal the locket and shrink your brother. Not if I can help it. Pocket Huddle. Well, hello. Got your cupcakes, um, Mr. Wu? The locket. What? What? I mean, what luck! It's here, my cupcakes! Uh, uh, payment first, please. And tips are accepted. Of course, come in! Somebody's gotta be my first shrinky. We have to warn him! Pierre! No, warning him means warning her. Stick with the plan and wait for the right moment. It's all up to you, Spaghetti. Don't call me Spaghetti. Flower, check. Wax paper parachutes ready to deploy. I hope. Paid in full. Now hand over the cupcakes. Uh, did I mention tips are accepted? Maybe if I bring the cupcakes into the kitchen for you. That won't be necessary. Just hand me the box. We're doomed. She's gonna get the locket, shrink Pierce, and we'll all be tiny forever. Gotta be patient. Here you go, right on the table. The most tip-worthy place. Great! Now out of my way. Wait, aren't you forgetting something? Something on the tip of your tongue? Give me that, you meddling pocket! a food fight with you, then I'll get a tip. Okay. Food fight! Watch it! I just hit my highlight! Oh, come on! Where's my tip? We should go back and help first. Mr. Quidnunk, Miss Menz, ourselves? There you are! Are you okay? I feel great! That's 
smash upset my spine straight. Look! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. You won't get away from me that easily, Polly Pocket. I don't... Oh, my back! You threw my back out! I can't move! Oh, I know the feeling, Grizel. Let me help you back to your room. Oh, no. to help Miss Mentz, but Grizel did it for me. And now Miss Mentz is helping Grizel. And that's perfect because Grizel's out of our hair. No, I mean, yes, but it's also perfect because they're helping each other. I know, I know, I have to help everyone. Or I could help them help each other. That would make far more mathematical sense than you doing everything yourself. <gasps> like when you were suspenders to hold up your stylishly oversized pants. Clothes helping clothes. <laughs> Come on. So, if you promote Pierce to assistant baker, he can earn enough for his mega burn concert, and you'll have enough help that you won't need to stay up all night. It's a deal. That's way cool. So, Miss Sanga, if the dog stays with Mr. Quidnunk all day, you won't need a dog sitter and you won't be lonely anymore. Lonely? Who says I'm lonely? <laughs> but if this dog is lonely, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy to help. <laughs> Matching jackets for the whole line dancer crew. And Lila on it. Dazzling, we be dazzled. Oh, girls, this is perfect. You know, I'm quite the line dancer myself. <laughs> and I already fit the costume. Check and check. Matching everyone up made a difference for a lot of people. And we want to make a difference too. So, I'll help Shawnee with her next lab experiment. And I'll model for Lila, so you can have time to study. You are the best, best friends. <laughs> Oh, Polly, before you head up to bed, be sure to lay out everything you need for tomorrow. Okay, there's capoeira first thing in the morning, then synchronized jazz walking, uh, and then you've got... <sighs> Actually, Mom, I feel like I might be doing too much. Would you be really upset if I just focused on a few things? Oh, Polly, I would love that. I was afraid you were burning yourself out. Thanks, Mom. From now on, I'm giving up chess club and origami class and homework. Yeah, nice try. You still have to hit the books. But other than that, you should focus only on the things you really love. The things I really love, huh? Hey, Mom, you know what I would love to do tomorrow? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like we're missing one thing. Hello, Peanuts Pit Stop. Hey, Peanut, I'd like to order... Two dozen? Yeah. Okay, bye. Two more dozen. They're for your sister. You got it, boss. She wears a flowing white gown and floats through the Littleton Woods. <gasps> Spine tingling, isn't it? Yeah. The fact that she wears white after Labor Day is like the scariest thing Ever. Sounds kind of like Pierce around a girl he likes. Totally horrifying. <laughs> the Pearl Damsel is scarier than Polly's brother trying to impress a girl. More frightening than losing your phone. Twice as terrifying as getting an A minus on your biology homework. Shani, do I have to point out again that there's no such thing as ghosts? <laughs> yeah, it's totally just a made up. <gasps> Just Philip.
Yeah, I knew that. Huh? Escape Pierce's terrarium again, huh? What a smart chameleon. I know you like to explore, but you have to go back to Pierce's room. Go big! <sighs> I can't believe I have to wear this seed league uniform all weekend. That's reason number 37 of why we have to level up to Cupcake at camp. They have purple uniforms. Ooh, I look so good in purple. They should rename it Lila Ack. <laughs> Get it? No? Lila? Lilac? Purple? Lilac? Like the flower? Ugh, anyways. Is this thing on? All we have to do is earn the seedling badges. And stay away from the pearl damsel. I hope there's a badge for that. Staying away from something that doesn't exist will be super easy. Jeannie. Do you believe in ghosts? I have seen no evidence to prove their existence. But my cousin Tori saw the Pearl Damsel at Girl School at camp last year. Tori saw it? Oh, she's so stylish. If she believes in ghosts, then so do I. <laughs> what? I pare down to essentials. Three shampoos, four conditioners, six body washes. Watch this. Jeannie, how many shampoos does Lila need this weekend? None. There are no showers at Girl Squad Sleepaway Camp. <gasps> that makes every day a bad hair day! Good thing I packed my blow dryer and curling iron. No electricity either. <gasps> That's it! I'm out of here! You can't leave! <gasps> the Girl Squad motto is everybody together. That means we can't leave you behind. <gasps> Hiya, Sean. How you doing? Great! Well, except Polly doesn't believe in the Pearl Damsel. You really saw her, right? Yeah. And I could tell you how I did it, but that kind of knowledge is only for the bravest girls. I'm brave. Ish. <laughs> I wouldn't do this for just anyone. But since we're cousins, here's a list of the Damsel's favorite things. You have to collect everything and put it in the maple grove under the full moon to lure her out. <sighs> the full moon is tonight! Uh-huh. Good luck, cuz! <laughs> I can't wait to get her badges on! And I can't wait to find all the things on Tori's list! I can help with that. Jeannie, tell us where all the imaginary, Pearl Damsel's favorite imaginary, things are. Jeannie? Are you there? Talk to me, Jeannie! Did you charge it before we left? No, I was gonna do it here. Where there's no electricity. I'll see you when we get back to Littleton, Jeannie. <laughs> One daisy down and 22 more things to find. Easy peasy. Ooh, time for my mid-morning Misty Mountain Moisture Spritz. This is a camp, not a day spa! I'm your camp counselor, Melissa Militant. You are here to earn badges, so start earning! The first badge is the wild ropes. Hit it! Aye, aye, counselor Militant. No backpacks or things inside of backpacks! You don't become cupcakes by taking the easy way out! What about this? It's where I'm keeping the Pearl Damsel's favorite things. Pearl Damsel. <laughs> of course you can keep that. No genie, no backpacks, just a jar full of weird stuff? Ugh. Girl Squad Camp is rough. Lila, you can do this. Come on. I think she wants us to climb. Just as soon as I get a piece of this rare balloon baby spider web. That Pearl Damsel sure has some weird favorite things. Gigi, I've got them in my sights. Over and in. No, wait. Over and Roger. Over and out. Perfect. Tonight is the night I'll finally get my hands on Polly's locket so I can shrink all of Littleton. <laughs> Gwen, don't let her out of your sight. You can't count on me. Wait, I mean, you count on... I can count.
count on... <sighs> you can count on me... Oh, if you want to be a cupcake, you best to hang on to those ropes. Huh? Whoa! Ooh. Mud bath. I might not get a badge, but my pores are going to look fantastic. If you can't climb, you got to be able to swing. Never know when you're going to need a know-how. No way that's a real-life skill. One ropes course badge for you. And another one for you. And none for you! You need to finish the course and get your merit badge! Yep. Uh, good thing the minimalist look is still in. Oh, oh boy! for a badge intervention. <sighs> Unless you have a magic wand, Polly, no way I'm gonna be outdoorsy. We're gonna go tiny and find a place to practice. Tiny power! <laughs> when I was studying the layout of the campsite, I noticed a clearing on the other side of those trees. Whoa! What the? Too bad this trap wasn't on the map. I'll make a note of it for my cartography badge. Trap has been sprung! Melissa's gonna find us! <laughs> Who needs an updo when the disheveled look is so happening? Wow, Lila, nice accessory skills. Easier than putting on lipstick with a blindfold. What? Empty! Wait, what? Where did they go? Ah, uh, french fries. Okay, Lila, scale this dandelion and then make a wish that you get your tree climbing badge. <laughs> a better wish would be that this weekend was over already. There's a rock climbing badge waiting for you at the top of that pile, Lila. <laughs> This big rock meanie snagged my favorite sneak. The great outdoors and I are worse together than polka dots and plaid. I'll be a seedling forever. I hate to be the one to interrupt such a dramatic moment, but it's getting dark, and we should get back to camp before we become bite-sized coyote snacks. <laughs> Go big! <laughs> she has to be around here somewhere. What's Polly doing now? She's, uh, she's, uh, you know, doing the things that Polly does. <laughs> Just promise me she'll be at the rendezvous we have planned tonight. Uh-huh, for sure. If you want a camp cook badge, you're gonna have to make the best Johnny Cakes I've ever tasted. And I have tasted a lot of Johnny Cakes. First, we mix. What's she doing now? Interloper! Mmm, cakey. Cakey? If you want your star badge, you have to know the constellations. Those stars represent the zodiac symbol of the crab. That looks nothing like a crab. Ugh, constellations don't make any sense. Imagine them as diamonds in the sky. <gasps> diamonds? Ooh, ooh, I'm so good at this game. What cut and how many carrots? Good thing there's not a Teach Lila badge, because neither of us would get one. <laughs> oh, hey! Lila, you were laying on a perfectly round rock. 
This is the last thing I need to make the Pearl Damsel appear. Oh, Tori is going to be so impressed. Where's Polly? Ah, <gasps> the Pearl Damsel! Ghosts are real! Polly! <laughs> it's rendezvous time. Just as soon as I figure out where you are. She's gaining on us! Run! Run like everything's half off at the Little Good Mall! <laughs> the ghost has traps? Is she gonna eat us? I hope not. The scarf is hand-stitched from the finest Yarbarian yak wool. Don't worry, I know how to get us out. Tiny power! <laughs> Ooh, the thread count on this netting is stupendous! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Mission accomplished, Gigi! Gwen? Huh! I knew ghosts weren't real. Too bad nasties who want to steal your locket and use it to shrink everyone in Littleton are! Ha <laughs> 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 I've got you now, Polly Pocket! Hey, let me go! Gloves! You might be little, but your teeth are still sharp. Bye-bye, little pocket. <laughs> Time to get back to town and put this locket to good use! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tori! <laughs> Don't spill the tiny beans! Huh? Why is Tori dressed like a ghost? Yeah, so unflattering. And Crazy String is so yesterday's prank. I don't even want to think this, but what if it's a gag that the cupcakes play on seedlings? What if there is no damsel? What if it's Tori? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the target of this gag? But I'm her cousin! Shawnee, if it's true, we'll deal with it later. Right now, we have to get my locket back. Over it and moving on. Let's go! Good thing Shawnee and I aced our tracking badge. We'll find Grizel in no time. Yeah, maybe I was a tad overconfident. Those are Chloe Parmigiano knockoffs, size ten and a half. I'd recognize Grizel's footprints anywhere. Follow those cheap knockoffs! The path out of here is this way! <laughs> you sure this is the right way, Gigi? Just paddle! Paddle! Hey! <laughs> My GPS! What are we going to do? Build a campfire and make s'mores? <laughs> Too bad we didn't do our river crossing badges yet. <laughs> um, nice kitty. If Captain Collie Wobbles taught me anything, that cat's about to pounce! Lila, that's it! We made it! Amazing work, nature girl! Yeah! I'm lost without my phone! Literally lost! Any mm -hmm. suggestions? Yes! Suggestions to get out of here! Um, sure! Let's go this way! There were probably better ways. <laughs> Way to travel. Water soak knockoff this way. Help us! Okay, okay. It'll be easier if we're big. Throw me the locket. It's so close and yet so far. What do we do? That 
That is too far for me. I'm good, right here on the nice, safe ground. Come on, guys. We have to save them. You know it's the right thing to do. Yeah, we know, but that doesn't lower the risk factor. <sighs> All right. You two wait here. Leave this one to me. Oh! Just shrink me and get me out of here already! I'd have to go big before I can make us both small. And believe me when I say, going big right now is a really bad idea! going to help us, right? We're seedlings, almost cupcakes, and our motto is everybody together. Even you two. How are we going to do that? I saw these amazing belts made out of grass and vines at Eco Fashion Week. If it worked for Bodie Granola, it'll work for us. We made it, Gigi. Now take us back to camp. It's the least you can do after stealing my locket. Pretty sure it's my locket, and I want to keep it that way. So there's only one thing to do. The first aid badge is my favorite. And there's no reason not to earn it with style. Wait! You're going to leave us out here? Don't worry. I've marked the location. We'll send someone to get you. I'm better than average at directions, but it's just too dark. I can't make out any landmarks. Well, we've been following those stars that look like bell bottoms, so camp's that way. Go towards that single star shining brighter than my Lulu Foo Foo mood ring. Who knew that all we had to do to make Lila a real nature girl is add a little fashion? <sighs> so, you ladies made it back. I'm amazed you survived, considering this one couldn't master a single one of the cupcake skills today! Did you see the pearl damsel? No, just the damsel in Parmigiano knockoffs. What is this? I love my badges, but I love my friends more. If Lila isn't a cupcake, then we don't want to be cupcakes. Rules are rules. Lila's got to earn her badges if she wants to level up. But Lila's just as good at this stuff as us. When we were lost, Lila navigated by the stars to find our way back. And she helped us escape a mountain lion and make a rope out of vines and a bow out of bandages. Sounds like you did a lot of cupcakey things. I was more outdoorsy than outdoorsy dirt. Well, welcome to the cupcakes. All of you. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. I sure wish I had a friendship badge to give you. You've earned it. A good seedling always comes prepared with her own badge maker. You mean I could have just made my own badges instead of trying to earn them? Yeah, but what would be the fun in that? The ultimate friendship badges. Now for the most important thing about being a cupcake, figuring out what shoes go with my new uniform. And then I said, I'm the Pearl Damsel. And everybody screamed. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's payback time for all the seedlings. Words to live by? You can never pack too much tool. <laughs> Some of 
my best work. <laughs> ladies and uh, ladies, now presenting my new and improved Digital assistant. No more blah computer voice spitting out boring info. She's got personality to the max and is pre programmed with 1,000 protocols proven to get you out of any sticky situation. Meet Genie 2.0. Hey, gal pals. Genie 2.0, take us to the park. Ooh, the park. Love a little fresh air on my motherboard. Ooh, me lucky. She's got sass. But don't you hate it when people let their dogs run all over the park? Major buzzkill. <laughs> Jeannie, telephone pole at 10 feet and closing! You think I don't know how to fly this thing? Chill out, Shawnee. <laughs> Holly, your PTA is more annoying than llama hair leggings. Say what? <laughs> Okay, Jeannie, that's enough. Incoming weather drone! Time's too strong. I'll need to override it when we get home. Hey, what are you talking about? Let Genie 2.0 in on it. Uh, nothing. Just, um, the science fair. Polly, what's your project? Oh, you should totally do something about miniaturization. You would so win first prize. It's a science fair. It's supposed to be science-based, not locket-based. I'm just saying, she's the princess of pocket-sized. That was too much fun, huh, guys? Yeah, too much. Oh, BT Dubs, I could use a cleaning. I got seriously goose bombed. Okay, sure. And an oil change while you're at it. On the double, Polly. Oh, boy. Come to think of it, a double shine polish would be nice. You can never look too fly when you're chilling in the sky. Hi, Mom. Bye, Mom. Whoa. Is that a satellite design, Mrs. Pocket? Sure is, Johnny. I have a big presentation coming up, but it's still not quite right. I'm building a rocket for my science fair project. And since you're an aerospace engineer and all, I'm happy to take a look, Johnny. It's biofuel powered. So what do you think? Well, the tapered nose looks perfect to achieve escape velocity, uh, but make sure you have fins for stabilization, okay? Thanks for the tips, Mrs. P. I'll make some tweaks and do more beta testing. The last girl I saw that excited about rocket science was... me. <laughs> I thought we were doing homework. Are you gardening? It's my science fair project. I bred the pea plants so they'd grow in rainbow colors. Rainbow? Ooh, that's a hot look but not as hot as my project. I'm going totally vintage and doing a rabbit through a maze thing. Really? How did you teach Benita to go through the maze? I didn't. That's why my hypothesis is that she won't be able to do it. Simple but elegant. I like it. But what about the science? Meh. I shrunk them so they'd be easier to carry. Now to make them normal size. Go big! Now, now, science teacher in the house. 
I see what you did here. You do? Indeed. Crossbred to get miniature pea plants? Very impressive. Uh, yeah, thanks. So, tell me, how did you do it? Um, well, it, it wasn't like it was anything weird or supernatural. Because we all know, uh, that's not scientific. Well, however you did it, it looks like you are the one to beat this science fair. Not cool, Polly. All you did was use your locket. But I didn't... Do you know how long I worked on this rocket? But Shawnee... Ugh! Wow, I haven't seen Shawnee so upset since she got that pony for her birthday instead of a Bunsen burner. I can't believe I built a real robot for my science project. I'm so smart. I told you a hundred times, it's me in here, and I built this from stuff around the house. Remember the plan. You pretend to activate the robot, then I'll pretend it's going haywire and rampage around the gym. Yeah, I know. Then when everything's not so, you grab the locket. What's this button for? I had to boil the toaster. Ow. Hmm, any jam in there? Oh, Shawnee's got it wrong. I hope she'll hear me out when I apologize. Time to test this robot that I built with my own two hands. Greetings, humans. I am Grizztron, the totally mechanical, non-human, non-miniature loving robot. <laughs> bop, bop, bop. <laughs> warning, warning. Circuit overload, circuit overload. <laughs> for this mess? Oh, Principal Mondo! Thanks, Thanks Gwen. Gwen. This totally is not what it looks like. We were chased by a mean old lady in attacking robot suit. I have heard enough of this. You two go to my office now. The rest of you get those projects straightened up. The science fair must go on. Uh-oh, Shawnee's rocket! Excuse me, I need to... I said my office. Now. We've got to get Shawnee's rocket back. No talking. You two almost ruined the science fair. What do you have to say for yourselves? <laughs> One, we didn't do it. And two... Spinach. <clears throat> what? Sorry, Principal Mondo, but you have a little something something in your teeth. Oh. Genie 2.0, initiate protocol 47. Uh, uh, yes, Superintendent. I guess I have time to discuss the new hall pass design with you right now. When I reprogrammed Genie to up her niceness and lower the chattiness, I kept the emergency protocols including the 15 procedures for getting out of the principal's office. So that's why you had Pierce do his impression of Superintendent Stern's work. <gasps> that goes to the trash compactor. 
Wait a minute. Trash compactor? So you're suggesting we follow Shawnee's rocket into a disgusting heap of stinking trash that could potentially be squashed into a small disgusting heap of stinking trash? Just focus on the breeze blowing through your hair. Uh, that's what I thought you were suggesting. You seriously want me to go in there? Tiny power! Yeah. Whoa! Kyle Chang spitballs. Blech. Normally, I would find a rejuvenating cucumber face mask super relaxing, but right now, it's just super gross. Lila, those aren't cucumbers. Ah, get it off! Get it off! Oh. Shawnee! Holly? Lila? What are you doing? Finding your rocket. I wasn't trying to cheat with my project, I only shrunk it to make it easier to carry. Yeah! Mrs. Vasquez got the wrong idea. Really? Your project isn't about miniaturization? No, it's about breeding colorful pea plants. I jumped to a conclusion without a complete data set. Scientifically speaking, that's a no-no. <sighs> I'm sorry, Polly. It's okay, Shawnee. I hate to cut this friendship moment short, but if my rocket goes into the compactor, its fuel will go kaboom! Get it! <laughs> Brazil? Skip the pleasantries and give me the locket! Eat mystery me! <laughs> Ooh, you wanna play dirty, huh? <laughs> Enjoy Taco Tuesday on Friday! The rocket! Got it! <gasps> the ultimate weapon! Old sweat socks from the boys! <gasps> Give me the locket or you get a face full of sweat sock! <laughs> no, no. Not only are they old and smelly, but they're mismatched. Now that is a nightmare. Tiny power! <laughs> It must have escaped from the sixth grade classroom. Oh, yeah? I bet your cage doesn't exactly smell like rose petals. Okay, Lila. This way, girls. I think we lost Grizel and Gwen. What's that? Uh, sounds like an earthquake. That's no earthquake. Close. And so are we! <laughs> Polly, we can't just run through the schoolyard tiny. We're gonna have to be stealthy. Come on, ladies, give me a hand. Brilliant! Okay. 
it. No! It's a long ways down, Pocket. Who said anything about down? I'm more into going up. What? You're talking nonsense. Gotta say, Polly, I'm with Grizel on this one. Look, solo dodgeball! Oh! I'm out! I win! Oh! Win! Pick yourself Go up! Go big, Rocket! <laughs> what is a clear meeting opportunity for two of squandered? Blast off! She had us there for a minute. Yeah, great thinking. On a side note, do you remember in science class when we learned that what goes up must come down? Oh boy. Tell me you built some kind of parachute into this thing. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be manned or girled. So the only way we get down is if we crash. crash! Wait, there may be a way. Jeannie, do you have a minute? At those coordinates right now. Roger that, Polly. Uh-oh. Stand by for Newton's law in action. Ah! Hey, gal pals. Genie! Okay, come up beside us and track our descent. Was intense. Genie, let's land in the park. Coming right up. So, Genie, you're okay with dogs running around in the park? Sure. I love a puppy snuggling against my digital interface. Genie's fine now. Great idea to change out the personality chip, Shawnee. Mm. Oh yeah. Go big! Glad to be back on the ground and safe! Ah! <gasps> My project! Uh, sorry, Shawnee, but there's always next year. Wait! Shawnee put in a lot of hard work on this year's project. She deserves a chance to win that science fair. How? It's probably almost over. Uh, it'll be tricky, but if we all work together, we might pull it off. What's the plan? You and I stay here and fix the rocket. Lila, you go to the science fair and stall the judges. Good plan. I'll have those judges eating out of my hand. Ooh. That rabbit isn't doing anything. <sniffs> We're done here. Wait! She, uh, only responds to singing. Bonita's been practicing her maze run all the live long day. <laughs> That's your cue, Bonita. Yeah, wait! I mean, she only responds to rapping. Bonita, ya OG bunny, ya jams don't stop. Ya floppy ear girl, put the hoppin' hip hop, so start a hoppin'. A hoppin' hop a hoppin'. A hippity hoppin' a hoppin'. Ash. <laughs> Uh, if that rabbit doesn't run from that, she'll never budge. Wow, Shawnee, you're a rocket genius! Thanks. Flying the rocket actually let me make a more aerodynamic design for this one. And I added a new feature for you. What is it? I'll tell you on the way. Right now, we've got to get to the gym before the science fair ends. Wait! I know what was wrong! Now she's ready to go! Gotta run in style! All right, that's it. This is a total waste of time. Oh, Polly. <sighs> we were just enjoying Lila's project, but would love to switch gears and see that fantastic pea project of yours. Actually, Mrs. Vasquez, I don't have a project. Yes, she does. It's this rocket. I built it and Polly installed Neil. Ready for takeoff, Neil? All set, Shawnee. Three, two, one, see ya! Oh, 
Okay, Neil, let's see your two and a half gainer with a backflip topped off with a slam dunk. Sure thing, Polly. Recon report. Two people lurking in the northwest corner of the gymnasium, and they are emitting an odor of rotten fish sticks combined with dirty sweat socks. Hey, I resent that. We're not lurking. All right, we have a winner, and it's Polly and Shani for that amazing rocket! I knew your rocket was gonna win! It was a team effort! Great job, girls! Mom, what are you doing here? I came to check out all the great new scientific discoveries you kids have made. And your new design gave me an idea for my satellite. Maybe you can teach me how you did that digital pilot? Sure thing, Mom. Congratulations, my young scientists. Thanks, Mrs. Vasquez. I just wanted to say I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Polly. I should have known you never cheat. No worries, Shawnee. <laughs> now let's strut that trophy. Oh, those kids win again. And I still don't have that locket. On the bright side. Robot toast. 